All right, guys, today I will be showing you how to rig lizards. I love lizards. Look, uh, this is what I fish. I really, these are actually crawls. Those aren't lizards, but I, this is what I do. I fish lizards. If I'm fishing a soft plastic, the first thing I'll be fishing is a lizard. So today I have had a lot of requests on how to rig these. So that's what I will be doing. Not only will I be rigging them, I will be giving myself one hour to go catch as many fish as I can on a lizard. This is how we're gonna start off. I prefer these three odd round bin worm hooks. You can get 15 in a pack from Walmart, laser shark, can't beat these. I haven't ever had one of these to bend out. They're like $3 at Walmart, take your hook. Today we are gonna be Texas rigging these lizards. That's how I like to rig them. Three lizards. Should I be a hand model? Is that besides, that's besides the point, but I think I should be a hand model. Okay. Take the lizard out of the pack. This is your lizard. For like reference purposes, this is the top side of the lizard and this is the bottom. So you're gonna have the bottom side facing your hook. You're gonna take your hook and you're gonna stick it in the bottom or you're gonna have the bottom part of your lizard facing your hook. You're gonna stick your hook in and right when it gets to the little bend of the hook, you're gonna pull the hook out of the bottom. Watch your finger right here. So you're gonna do about half an inch of the head of the lizard. So when you pull your hook out, you're just gonna run the lizard's head all the way up to the top part of the hook, the eyelet of the hook. Your hook is already attached to your line. What I like to do, I just like to cover up the eyelet of the hook with the lizard's head. This is not the hard part, but it's gonna be your most difficult part. I like to bend the lizard's body about flush with the hook until you get about to where the arms are. And then you're gonna stick the hook into the lizard's body. And just pull it out like that. Okay, and now you are ready to go catch a fish. See, just like this, this is all you gotta do. Not hard at all. So what I will do, um, what I'm gonna be doing today, I will be taking these lizards with me today and I'll be going to a pond and seeing how many fish I can catch in an hour on these. I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is, or my lizard where my mouth is, because I tell people this is how you catch fish, so we're gonna see if this is how you really catch fish. I'm gonna go get the GoPro, get in the car, I'm not taking my tackle bag, I'm taking is these hooks and the lizards, and I'm going fishing. So I will see y'all in the car. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a timer on my phone for one hour. All right, so what I'm gonna do is start a timer for an hour. And I'm gonna just go ahead and start it. And when this timer goes off, I'm gonna see how many fish I catch on my lizard. So, all right. So in the little video when I showed you how to Texas rig this lizard, I had a three out hook tied on. Now I have a five out hook. Um, no reason. This is just what I had tied on. I didn't feel like retying. And I'm timing myself too. So what I like to do with these is when you cast it, you have to let it sink for a second. So count to about five in your head. And then I just reel the slack out of the line and just pop it twice and reel the slack out. Pop it twice, reel the slack out. Pop it twice, reel the slack out. Pop it twice, reel the slack out. Okay, that's all you gotta do. That simple. When you have a bite, you'll know you have a bite when your line gets tight. Hopefully I'll have a bite or four or five of them. <laughs> but yeah, when you have a bite, your line will get tight. Um, You'll just feel a little tug in your line, and you know to set the hook. Fish right there. How about that? Another thing that helps me is keeping my rod tip low so it keeps the bait low in the water. Because when you do that, you see how the bait just pops right out. But like you do this, and it's you're bringing it up. And that's just too slow for me. And then you get better action on the arms and tail and stuff when you move it from side to side. Oh, look, we had a bash right there. I'm not making any excuses, but this pond is still really grassy, so. Oh, it came off, I had one.
Dude, I wasn't even paying attention. I'm gonna just walk this fish up here. I was literally on Snapchat. See, he took my lizard. I'm not happy with you. It's a dark fish. As you see, second you pull that phone out. I don't even know where the other bait went. This was crazy. I guess he ate the other one. He was hungry. Boop, there we go. That's what we love right there. All right, guys, I've only caught one fish so far. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just make a move to this other side. There's not as much grass. If I fish my way back around, I end up stopping. So I'm gonna just walk over. Um, walk on over there and just fish that side. Ooh, there's a bass chasing that that I just reeled it out of his mouth, basically. I just watched him bite that. I just literally watched him do that. Not so tough now, are you, buddy? That was so cool. Buddy, hey, calm down. Good hook set, top of the mouth. He just tried to bite me. Look what I caught, guys, look. It's a bass. I caught, yeah, I caught him. Yeah, I know, he's cool, right? You wanna eat them? No? Okay. Do y'all want them? No? Okay. And there goes the timer. All right, so we're gonna stop the video right here. What's up guys, I just made it back home. I caught two fish today on the lizards, which I mean, not a terrible day, not a great day. Um, I was only out there for about an hour. So at least you know that they work. The pond that I was at was really grassy too. So I'm sure using them in like a more clear pond would have a little bit better benefit. So guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Make sure you check out my last video. Hope you have a great day fishing hard. Don't forget, if you catch a big fish, send it to me. I want to see it.